All right, let's go to Olivia in California. Hi, Olivia. Welcome to the Dave Ramsey Show. Hi, Dave. Hi, Rachel. Thanks so much for taking my call. Sure. What's up? Dave, I just want to start by saying, first of all, thank you so much. If you would have come into my life 10 years sooner, oh, my God, I would be a millionaire by now. Thank you, well, thank that you, means 10 you. years from now you will be. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm on it. I am on it. I am focused and not finished. This is, I am a bevel intent. Love it. So here's my question. I, my husband and I are interested in moving back to the East Coast. We're originally from the Catskills, and we moved to California for work. But we're finding that even though we're making pretty decent money, we can't afford the home prices out here. So we're looking to move back to the East Coast in February when our lease is up. But we want to know if purchasing a home right now, while we're still in baby step two, we've paid off about $30,000 in debt. Um, in the last year, but we're now at our student loans. We're and then they're sixty-seven and twenty-two. So we want to know if moving back to the East Coast is a good idea with having those student loans, and should we stop the student loan payments, considering what's happening right now um, with the government, and put that money towards our down payment? Well, if I were in your shoes, Olivia, I would I would hold off on buying. I think moving to the East Coast, that's a lifestyle decision you guys want to make in February once your lease runs up. Is it February, right? So it'll be about another nine yeah. months? Yeah, mm-hmm. nine, ten months. So, yeah, I mean, by that point, you guys will be tackling this debt. You'll, you know, your debt load will be less because you'll be paying on it. But if you still have that student loan, then I would, I would rent or lease something out on the East Coast, but I would still make the move. Okay. I think you can do that. You'll have to account for some expenses and things that will cost. Right. But I think that, yeah, that's a lifestyle move that you guys can still make, but I would not purchase a home. I wouldn't save up uh, for a down payment. I would use any money you have to, to pay down those, those student loans. Olivia, the reason is, okay. is that in 30 years of doing this, I've never had someone ever who said, I paid off my debt. I saved my emergency fund. I put down a down payment on a home. Oh, that was such a big mistake. But I have met with thousands of people and taken calls from thousands of people that say, I bought a house while I still had a bunch of debt around my neck, and the house turned into a curse rather than a blessing. And the reason is, is it just it just costs money to own a house. Stuff breaks and things happen and uh, stuff comes out of nowhere, and it's a different level of strain on you than renting. And so I would rent the cheapest thing you can rent and that is reasonable and safe so that you can pay off the debt even faster so that you can buy. But Rachel is exactly right. Uh, I definitely would be debt-free and have your emergency fund plus a down payment when you buy. I know that sounds super conservative, but today in the middle of this mess, it doesn't sound conservative. It sounds reasonable because it was always reasonable.